Hi, my name is Jennifer Goldfinger and I'm a children's book author, an illustrator, and a fine artist. I am the author of the book that's just coming out called Daisy the Daydreamer and I'm really excited about it because this story comes from the heart. This story comes from my own experience as a little girl who spaced out a lot during class. I had a lot of really good ideas in my head, but they were showing up when I was in the middle of class and I wasn't always listening. I learned, I learned a lot of stuff and I found a lot of times that I learned when I was doodling and somehow it came into my head and it came down on the paper and that's how I would get information. I learned in the last couple of years that I actually have ADHD. And so for my entire school career, I didn't know it. And so I somehow got through it, but um, it's not uncommon for girls in particular to not find out until much later. So this was my experience. Uh, before I read, I wanna thank the people at Baker and Taylor for putting these together and for all the librarians because you guys are amazing. Okay, here we go. Uh, Daisy the Dream Daydreamer. This is Daisy. She walks with her feet on the ground and her head in the clouds. Every day she brushes her teeth and braids her hair. At recess she plays on the teeter-totter and swings on the swings. Bring goes the bell and everyone runs inside, except Daisy. One day, Daisy's teacher, Mrs. Dill, makes an exciting announcement. We're going to the aquarium. Who wants to be line leader? I do. I'm gonna tell you about the underwater world of the octopuses, said Mrs. Dill, and the best listener can be line leader at the aquarium. Clouds start gathering around Daisy's head. She tries to swat them away. She's always wanted to be line leader. Mrs. Dill starts her lesson. After she finishes, Mrs. Dill looks around the room and stops at Daisy. Daisy, can you repeat what I've said about the octopus? Class, Mrs. Dill announces, Polly will be the line leader tomorrow. Daisy's cloud rains. She feels a weight on her chest. But Daisy has an idea. Mrs. Dill, can I show you something? Asked Daisy. Mrs. Dill whispers to Daisy, you're an amazing artist. Class, Mrs. Dill announces, Daisy's gonna be our official artist at the aquarium. When they get to the aquarium, Daisy knows just what to draw. The end.